Hi, hello, welcome, welcome back. I'm super excited for this video today. Today we are going to be using the new Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, which I've seen everywhere. I'm so glad that I got my hands on it. Um, it came super fast too. I ordered it and it came literally in two days, which was super surprising since like everyone wanted this palette. But can we just talk about this? The amount of different like eye looks you can do with this palette is absolutely insane. You can do your classic sunset palette, you have a bunch of pinks, you can do pink eyes, you can do the blues, the purples, the greens, the turquoises, like it's just, this palette really has like a lot of things that you can do with it, so I'm super excited to finally try it out today. I did do some swatches on a few of the colors as you can see just because I could not keep myself from doing it um but another great thing about this palette is that if you're traveling there's this awesome mirror mine's kind of dirty because i was touching it but yes so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to start with our eyes because funky colors calls for maybe possible fallout and all of that jazz so we are going to jump right in and we are going to start this eye look but don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more awesome videos like this but I'm too excited so let's jump right in okay I am back with my eyebrows on okay and I'm not gonna set my concealer just because I want these colors to really really pop even though you can tell that they're going to be like real good but okay I'm so excited right now I just like want to jump right in um I don't know what kind of look I'm doing I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow and pick ones that really, you know, stand out to me. Oh god, this is so cool. I just really am into this. Okay, what I'm going to start out it with is this color right here called Bubblegum, and I'm going to just coat my brush with it. And I'm currently using the Morphe E23 blending brush, but you can use whatever brush you want. And I'm just going to kind of, oh wow, just blend that in the crease, usually I'm not a pink person, I don't know why this color is like drawing me in, but it is. I also from this collection purchased the Supreme Frost um, Diamond Wet and also the Lip Scrub in Pineapple Juice just because I absolutely adore his lip scrubs. I think they are so good. All my friends at school use them because it's literally the best and they taste so good. I've never tried one of his Supreme Frosts so I'm really excited to try that out. Um, but this one I was just like so drawn to like look how pretty this is. so pretty but I'm just gonna keep blending that in to the crease what am I doing <laughs> so I've been in kind of a dilemma I can't decide whether the biker short trend is like cute or not I some people I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, like you can pull that off. And someone like, what are you doing? Like, no. What do you guys think? Like, are you into the biker shorts or not? Like, I don't know. I, I can't decide. So, cause like, I feel like a cute pair of like black or maybe white biker shorts would like look really cute with this just because it's like, here, I'll go for here. It's long, I have shorts on right now, but it's long. And I feel like it's not long enough for a dress, obviously, but I don't know. I feel like gray, white, or black like looks so cute with this. I don't know, maybe it's just me. My boyfriend doesn't like them, so. But like, maybe I could just try it out. I don't know. Okay, so then next I'm gonna go in with this shade right down here called Cherry Wet. I'm just going to mainly focus it on the outer corner. Wow, this looks like really bright. Oh my gosh. Outer corner and like kind of just blend it. 
Oh my god, this is so pink. I just can't. I am so not used to pink on my eyes. And I'm just gonna take a um, 226 Zoeva brush and just kind of blend both of these colors together just to give it more of a seamless blend rather than just like two colors right on top of each other. These are definitely gonna stain my eyelids and I'm gonna go in on work on Monday and be like, hey. No, but these are so pretty. Wow. So bright for me, really though. And I know I keep saying that, but like, holy. <sighs> Does have a little bit of fallout, not on my face, but like on, on the actual like palette. There's like stuff on there, but really not all that bad. Well, there's that for now. Okay, so I kind of, I can't tell if I should like leave it really, really bright or if I should like brighten it or like deepen it up a little. Um, let's put the shimmer on first and then we'll decide. I'm gonna go in with this shade Cotton Candy. It's really like um, hot pink uh, shimmer kind of. And I'm just gonna basically use my finger for it because I feel like that's the easiest, but I'm only gonna focus that like in the middle towards the outer corner. Okay, and I'm wondering if I like wet the, my brushes, if it would actually like, maybe, obviously it will, but like, if it would just like show up or look better, I think, I don't know. I'm gonna go in with my pixie spray and just wet my brush really quick. Can I go into that shade again? And kind of. Wow. Okay. I'm actually going out tonight for a friend's birthday. And this is gonna be a look that really is just like, oh, hey, Sydney, like, what's up, girl? <laughs> what happened to you? Don't even sweat it. And then I'm probably gonna go into this color right here called Snack. It's a lighter champagne -y pink, and it's like literally calling my name for the inner corner. So I'm like, I'm here for it. And I wet my brush again because I feel like it probably oh my god holy okay. let's do that on the other side oh and I'm using the Ulta professional brush I don't there's no number on it, but I think I got it in like a kit. It's literally just the Ulta brushes. And I sometimes use this for like concealer or for my eyes. I literally use it for everything. I love this brush. It's good for so many different things. Jeffree Star really did that. I'm literally like really liking this now. I, like I said before, I'm not like a super pink person. Like I kind of stay away almost from pinks. I'm, I'm so boring. I really just need to like actually use color more and really start going out of my comfort zone because I really think that I could really do a lot of cool things with color and now that I'm doing this look, I'm like, holy shit. What have I been waiting for? Like an invitation? My God. I am blown away. Oh my God. 
Okay, so now that I'm seeing it like this though, I do kind of want to deepen up the outer corner. I'm gonna go back in with cotton candy again, like after, but I kind of want to take maybe raspberry, this like deeper mauve color, and mix it with the cherry wet that I was using before, just because I think that'll give me like the depth that I want. And I'm going back in again with this uh, Morphe E23 blending brush. I'll let you guys take a close look. Like, this is crazy good. Like, I, I only used how many colors? No, one, two, my mom is coming. Come in. Getting ready? I'm, I'm in a video. Say hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> sorry. Is this video running now? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I can just edit it. Okay. Hey, looking great. I'm kind of feeling like putting this in like the inner corners of my eyes. I haven't even swatched this me <gasps> oh my that's the highlight on it wow Okay guys, so I'm gonna go put my foundation and all of that jazz on and I will be back and check in with you with this look. Um, yeah, wow, I'm super impressed so far and I would've never gone for a look like this, but I'm kind of like super into it right now. Yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. I am back with the finished look. Oh my gosh, am I in love with this. I, I just like, I think that this is such a fun splash of color, like, in, like, something what I'm wearing now, like, I don't know. I'm, like, I keep saying, like, I just, I'm so obsessed with this, like, I think you can make so many different looks with this palette. I think that you can make so many different looks with this palette. It is universal for all skin tones. It's just something that I would definitely recommend because these shades blend it out like a dream. I am literally just so impressed. I think that this is going to be a great makeup day. I'm really out of my comfort zone, I would say, definitely, because it's, it's such a bright color, so something that I would never actually do for myself if I wasn't like, it wasn't, it wouldn't be like my everyday makeup look, you know what I mean? And I just, I think that it turned out beautifully and I definitely would wear this again. I'm super excited to see what my friends say about it, but I am honestly, this is my new favorite palette right now. I think I'm gonna be using this a lot, especially to travel with. It has everything that I would need in it. It does have two transition shades down here at the bottom as well. So you do have a little bit of leeway if you're not ready to like jump right into this like full pink look, you know what I mean? But wow, I am I am literally so impressed with this and I would recommend this to anyone. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing me make this look. I really enjoyed it doing it because it got me out of my comfort zone. It's my first actual like colorful look, I would say. And I just really love it. I think it looks really cool, really different. It's very not me and I'm loving that. I'm loving that I'm 
kind of pushing myself a little bit more. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys really want to see more of this, I guess. And if you have any other ideas, any other color schemes or anything that you want to see, please comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you in my next video.